Yeah, that was our first first time we ever vlogged together. I saw a video the other day that had Natalie's first time in the vlogs too. Is there something between you and Natalie? Yeah, we're dating. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie and I know each other for a long time. We went to prom together. That's, is that real? Yeah, it's real. I went to the real dance. Let me tell you, it's not as fun as that looks. <laughs> Jonah and I have been practicing fake fighting. Here we go. Wow. Oh, oh. Ah! God, not this. <laughs> I hate to confront Natalie about this, but I woke up this morning. No. I, do. I woke up this morning and I saw one of the tweets Natalie favorited. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Can everyone stop shipping Natalie with David? She is beautiful and he is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it would look so weird. She could never fall for a guy like him. <laughs> but maybe for a hot guy like Jack. <laughs> I didn't think you had Botox, but your cheeks are very full. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just my life. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line is that you're the prettiest girl that I've ever uh, seen. No, 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 I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Very like, hypothetical. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> you got trouble. <laughs> you got trouble. Come on, bud. I'll take you to the airport. <laughs> Are you attracted to me? I do love you. I can work with you like so much. But <laughs> I've blocked you out as well because you're a part of the friends group. And you and David are together, secretly. <laughs> <laughs> David and his trophy wife. <laughs> Aww. So cute together, those two. As long as they don't kill each other. Ever had a fantasy about Natalie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> True? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Tell us the truth. How did you beat the lie detector test? Oh, just control breathing. And you control your heart rate, and you trick your mind. Jesus so, Christ. So as I was answering the questions, I had my mind completely in a different place. I was thinking about something else that actually I, I'm passionate about in my head. So I was thinking about those questions as I was getting asked that. I was actually thinking about a video that I was editing at the time, and I was really into it. Every time the guy asked me a question, it was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I can just say yes or no. Jesus Christ. I knew yeah. it. Well, well, you yeah. kept going to say, like, I know how to beat these, but no one was listening, and I saw you say it, like, five times. They were like, I, I want to know what you really lie about anything. Yeah. There were no, mm -hmm. There's nothing really to lie about. What, that I love Natalie? No. Or Corinna? Like, 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 you just almost shut down, you're like, yes, no. He loves Natalie, didn't he? Sure she said, uh... How, why don't we let him come out and drink with us? He's our manager. <laughs> I know, I know. He's a problem, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's a liability. <laughs> hey, cheese. Jeff, how you do that? How, how you look this good? Thank you. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, Natalie. So, so I thought to get the merch. Like, we should be dating, but we're not. And our, and our entire friend group is just like... <laughs> yeah, she's dating Jeff for sure. <laughs> and, uh, and our... Last night, you came up to me and you went, let's go to Vegas. I want to put $20,000 on, on the color. Okay, yeah. I promised that money to Jonah's family. If they lose... 100 pounds. You think they're gonna lose 100 pounds? Yeah, it was a bad decision, but fortunately, I was able to double the money. And I spent it on a private jet and partying with my friend Todd. Natalie, Natalie, you left your earrings here last night. Was that just a little way for you to sneak back over here? <laughs> uh huh. Natalie does. She seems to like really care about shit like that, right? Like she's always trying to do something nice for Dave on on his birthday. Natalie's an incredible human being. She is a hard worker. She's a beautiful woman, and we all really appreciate her. Whoa, that was that was a strong word. Beautiful, beautiful woman. You got something going on between you and Natalie? I've seen rumors. I've seen the I've seen the posts. Who is that hard eye emoji? What are you talking about? You guys a thing? Are you an item? No. Jeff, no, quit not playing. At all. I would never step on any toes. Wow, that I saw that. That was really funny. <laughs> is that up on the thing? Yeah, this was great. 
look at the race. The, yeah, the see, look, I almost look like, and I just said I don't want to step on any toes. And whose toe would I be stepping on right there? Ilya's. Uh, Ilya's, and also my my left foot would also be stepping on on David's nice tuxedo shoe. So, Shit. sorry, uh, audio only listeners, but there's a great photo here that's up on the screen, and you're you're, you're missing, missing it. Out. Mm-hmm. You're missing it. All right. Well, he squashed the beef. He squashed the rumors. Nothing's going on. That was it. I didn't say I didn't squash anything. And nothing happened yet. Okay, there we go. Is that what you want to hear? That's what I want to hear. I want, oh, well, I want not... some juicy shit, man. Is is Jeff dating Natalie? Are they a thing? I'm not dating anybody. Natalie is not dating anybody that I know of. So as of now, nobody's dating anybody. But if this podcast gets 20,000 likes, then Jeff. I will kiss Natalie in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just desperate, man. What, what do you guys want to hear? Yes, we're dating? All right, cool. Fucking leave a like on the video, man. Get us some ads. I just imagined Natalie completely cutting both of us out of her life after she hears like audio clips of fans like posting this. Shit, online. don't <laughs> cut this into a thing and tag us on Instagram because then if I like it, it goes on the explore page and then uh, Natalie's going to see it. Look, man, Natalie and I are good friends. We sat next to each other on multiple flights that were delayed. Natalie, did I say how nice you look today? <laughs> You got, you got a tan in New York. You, you look very nice. And I realized how easy it is to make mistakes and how easy accidents can happen. Mm-hmm. And, you know, sometimes trees fall on your car. Sometimes guys step on your foot. But sometimes other people have it worse. You know, at least we get to sit next to Natalie sometimes. <laughs> what was I talking about? You pull up the to-do list for the Scott cast this week. Kiss Natalie. Check. Just can't show you guys. What's number two say? Oh, get Natalie get on, Pharrell the Scott cast. on the Scott cast. Pharrell. Oh, get, get Pharrell on the Scott cast. Also, let's just address that. You know, Natalie did get on a motorcycle with Ilya out there, and they they seemed like they seemed like they're the right fit for each other. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine, dude. I respect Natalie a lot. I respect Ilya a lot, and. When I see something that looks right, I don't want to interfere with it. And I said this from the start. I don't want to step on Ilya's toes. I saw them together. They're both Vernon Hills locals. They grew up in the same town. Mm -hmm. You know, Ilya has treated her very nicely. He is... He's a respectable guy. He's a respectable guy. I just feel like he might be a better fit for her right now at this time in his life because I am am doing so many things. I'm doing so many YouTube videos and... Podcast, Netflix shows. Netflix shows. I'm walking dogs. I'm doing comedy Brand shows. Brand deals up the ass. I'm doing merch. Ilya's just a small town guy where just, you know, like he's not doing any of the stuff that I'm doing. He's not working out two, three times a day training martial arts like I am. He's probably never done martial arts training. Yeah. So he's probably not nearly as successful, fit, or yeah. good looking as he you, is. He is what more you're just an average Joe and just a regular guy who will always be just a regular guy. Well, and I mean, he seems like he'll have more time for Natalie. Maybe, like, you know, he's the guy. Maybe he's the guy. Maybe. I mean, if you if you ever really want to, you know, talk about your feelings, and I'm always here for you if you want to give no, me a dude, call. I'm already over it. Why like, do I, I sound like I, I'm... I understand. I hear the jealousy or the envy What your jealousy, voice. man? It, it just it, it, it if feels like he's a better fit. If, he, if, if I were to take Natalie on a date to the movies or something... She wouldn't even be able to watch the movie. We'd be, getting, we'd be getting bombarded, taking selfies the entire time. If she goes with somebody like Ilya, they'll blend right in, and nobody will care. They'll be able to enjoy their date, and that's how a relationship should go. It should not be we walk into Starbucks and people faint, you know? They should be <laughs> able to live a normal life, and I think he's the right guy to give her that. I think right now at this moment, I am not prepared to treat her the way she deserves to be treated. I think that's fair. I think it's uh, very good that you're taking the high road on this. Totally respect the guy. You know, I just, I'm not the right fit right now. Maybe 10 years down the line, Natalie and I decide to have children together. I think she'd be a good mother. But I feel like Ilya is just looking for a quick score. And, you know, maybe they'll have a couple good years together. And I'm totally fine with that. Not bitter at all. Well, I'm glad that you got that off your chest. And let's show the kiss. Of it. I love this the sweet hair brush back until you're getting closer, getting ready for it. It was nice. Oh. 
<laughs> a little giggle. A that little nice. giggle from Natalie and a little giggle from Scott. And that was it, guys. It was fun while it lasted. Um, it's all been downhill since then. Natalie never ghosted me, but Ilya was able to put in more time. And I'm not saying they're dating yet or have even kissed, but I just feel like, you know, she's leaning more towards him because he has more free time. But whatever. Who's fucking cooler at the end of the day? The guy who, you know, has too many things going on? I'm quitting everything, and I'm going to pursue Natalie. You quit something. It sounds like you quit Natalie. I'll give and up. It's, and it's hard fish, for you to dude. give it up. I will give up. Will you? Ah. Damn, you know, it'd be funny if I took a picture in front of that ship yeah. with Natalie and David. Yeah. And it was like, Check who's it. the biggest ship? Is that how it works? Is that how? Something like that. Who do you ship the most? Dadily, Jadily, or this actual ship that's behind <laughs> us? <laughs> Imagine everyone on planet Earth just disappears and it's just us in this Ferris wheel. We'd have to repopulate instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie! We were driving by and Tom didn't know it was you and he literally goes, Damn, look at that ass. <laughs> Why do you think I pulled over? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff is about to do helium and Natalie's about to try SF6. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. okay, go. Wait, wait, say I love Wait, wait, you. Have, have Jeff go first. Go. How much do they eat? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my second channel. I'm David Bush. <laughs> take a deep breath. You're really taking it like you. Like, really take it, like, take it in like you did. Like, uh, it's got, oh no, it's still here. No, Natalie, you gotta suck I it all the way in. This with, uh, and down. Me on AG too, so. Okay, and here goes Natalie. <gasps> oh, <Whoa! no! laughs> you good? It's okay. Congrats, okay. Natalie. You got a dog. Oh my god, we just found a dog. How are you, little guy? Good boy. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe we just found a dog. <laughs> what, should, what should we call him? We, we should love you, Natalie. We should keep him. Look. Oh, oh he's going to kiss you. Oh, thanks, Natalie. Wait, you Natalie. think he's a stray? <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure he's a stray. Yeah, collar. dude, people just throw these things away out yeah. here. Natalie, what should we do with him? He loves you, Natalie. <laughs> do you like him, Natalie? I don't know. Or is he too <laughs> There, there was a guy that was walking by, and we're like, "Is that your dog?" He goes, "No, take him." <laughs> what do we do? Well, what do we do now? I he, guess we gotta. Keep he does love Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, he's great. These dogs love people. They're so much better because they're. The, the real owner came back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Natalie. <laughs> hey, let's spice these questions up a little bit. Who is Natalie dating? <laughs> I know a Vlog Squad member who has a crush on Natalie. Mm. Holy shit, this is heavy. You want a big strong man to come help you out? I would love that. Jeff, go help her out. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, would you rather hook up with David or Jeff? Ooh. This one's easy. <laughs> I de I'd definitely rather hook up with Jeff. 100%, yeah. I mean, if you if you gave me that, well, no, I'd probably choose you just because you're a girl. But, <laughs> but yeah, that one's easy. Why is it? Jeff just came running into the room. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's well, here. here you go. Me, go with me, kiss me, Jeff. Jeff, grab, no, grab a mic, grab a mic. He's been waiting. Uh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. <laughs> Jeff is now on top Did of Did somebody me. say that Natalie wants to hook up with Jeff? <laughs> no, I gave her the option between me and you, and that one's easy. Oh, okay. Um, out of everybody, and out of our friends. In the world. <laughs> besides, like, the celebrities. Actually, no. Todd's still included. I'm out of here. I'm going back to editing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. 
listen, man, um, I'm glad that we got to be friends, but uh, honestly, I am nervous every time I'm around you that you're going to go right back to jail. So, uh, in some ways, uh, you know, I'm kind of happy that this is coming to an end. Natalie, you know, you came and you started working with David and you were really sweet and uh, we had some good times together and then you turned into a real <laughs> I've got to say. I mean, I've never seen such a Jekyll and Hyde 180 in terms of someone's personality. Jeff is not dating Natalie, neither am I. Oh yeah, we want to talk I to you am. about that. But <laughs> what? I'm just messing around. Now Natalie, I have to choose better looking male right here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do your thing. Go ahead, fix yourself. Look good. Okay, now me. <laughs> now me. <laughs> oh, Which yeah. One? Which one you want to go to homecoming with? <laughs> homecoming? Yeah. Um... Frankenstein. Ah! <laughs> she saw it coming. <laughs> Jeff and I wondering what happened with doing... How do I say it? Talk to her. What, what are you doing later? Good. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You know, Nat hey, Natalie, can you follow me on Instagram? I'll think about it. Oh, okay. What a bitch, huh? <laughs> Comment. Favorite part? Oh, a uh, couple so moments. <laughs> Video to get you in another Halloween costume? 50,000. What? 50,000, and I will do a couple's costume with Natalie, <laughs> and I'll let the top comment be the one who picks it. What is going on outside? Murders. Okay. No, no, it's nice. I love Murders. when he makes these promises without me being present. But are they okay? <laughs> this is like a plot between you and Jeff because Jeff's asked me to be a Halloween costume with him and I was like, mm. Is he trying to date you? I don't know his ulterior motives. Me either. <laughs> That's concerning. <laughs> they could be fun, you know? Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'll do it. Yeah. Let's high five. Okay. Yay. Natalie Taterheads, get to work. <laughs> You're bummed out that you have to do a couple's costume with Natalie? No, but I'm trying to. <laughs> I know Natalie's going to see this. We talked about it today, and I told her I got big plans for it. And she said she's working on a couple things, too. She said, have I ever told you how much I love it when you pull shit like this? And I was like, yeah, I think I remember you saying something like that, kind of. <laughs> and she said, haha. Okay, I'm looking forward to the 50k likes. Can't wait. I said 100k likes and we'll have that kid together. And she said, <laughs> oh yeah, start a, a family channel. Sounds like a dream. And I was like, oh no, I was just thinking for Joe's channel. <laughs> Is that the girl over there you're always talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's her. On the Vlothis, I don't know if you saw it, but if the video hits 50,000 likes, Jeff and Natalie have to do a couple's Halloween costume. Really? How about this? How about this? If you could have sex with one person for the rest of your life or masturbate every day, to whatever you want. To whatever. Masturbate. Okay. That's what I thought. Natalie, sex or yourself? No, I'd rather have sex. Every day? If I had to, you have to have sex every day or masturbate every day? With the yeah. same person though, Natalie. I don't think Natalie thinks having sex with the same person is a bad thing. No, I'm not. Who's the person? No, I'm not saying she wants to like have sex with a <laughs> Natalie's mom is about to get here from the airport any second. When she walks in through here. She's going to see Jeff and Natalie's back. Oh, what's up, babe? I didn't know your mom was here. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you two are doing right now, and I don't really give a fuck. I'm sorry that I'm, I feel I feel weird. You feel weird. I feel fucking weird that you're like naked right now. Are you filming this? Natalie, come here. Is this is how the whole week's gonna go. <laughs> She's really sweet and hardworking. Jeff. You cannot have this conversation with me right now while you're sitting it's in my daughter's bed where I'm probably going to be sleeping later. <laughs> what to say? <laughs> you're my new mom. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. That's all I got to say. She's got a couple more boyfriends too. <laughs> Come on out, boys. She's sleeping with all of us too. It's <laughs> <laughs> the most perfect explore ever. Wait, what? <laughs> what are we doing again? <laughs>
you guys out. You kiss me a little, Natalie. It's a Christmas mirror. <laughs> you guys want to help me decorate? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck is the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> tree, 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 tree. Perfect. This has been the best Christmas ever. It has been pretty perfect, huh? To the other room. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It's a tough speech to follow. Wow, who is that? Wow. That's Natalie Mary Duena. 2020 Bushiest Beaver. Busiest Beaver. Reacting Busiest. better. She's the bluff. The bluff. Yeah, you know, you try to kiss her on, on New Year's. Oh my. Today, Natalie posted on Instagram stories saying she's looking for a trainer. DM me. Oh my god, this is Which so we crazy. all know what that means. DM me, I'm looking for a hot buff man. Jeff, Jeff said he got that message him a thousand times. That's funny. Um, what, what did you mean by that? What are, you, what are you hoping for? An actual trainer or like a hot guy? Be 100% honest right now. Who do you think? You know who I am. I, I want to just get into shape. <laughs> I just want to be healthy. <laughs> you can't even say it. Jeff was like, yeah, you want to work out with me every day? And I was like, ah. Right, turn around. Those are Todd's drunk texts to Natalie. No! <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. I'm falling out of love with you. Don't worry. What? what are you Just tell me you didn't do this to me too. <laughs> hey dude, guess what? Me and Natalie just kissed. That's not what it what? says. You never tell me anything like that. RJ? Yeah. Give me your phone. What's the deal with Natalie? You guys ever kissed? Have you ever hooked up? You two? What? Natalie? You wanna answer that? No, never. Who's the most attractive out of three of us? You, Jonah. Got a You know what it should be? It should be Ilya in that chair, you cutting, and it should be Todd in that chair. Three guys that are just obsessed with Natalie. <laughs> I like Natalie. I think she's great. I respect her. Am I obsessed with her? No. Should we play the love game? The dating game? Yeah. Okay. What's up guys, welcome back to David's Dating Game. Today we have three contestants all competing for the love of Miss Natalie Noel Meriduena. <laughs> Natalie, how long have you been single? One year, I've been single one year. And, and three bachelors, may I ask how long have you been single? Everything before this date has been erased. What about you? How long have I been single? Yes. Can we go back to my answer? No. Batch number three, let me get, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25 years this guy's been single. I was gonna say that. Natalie, I want you to eliminate one bachelor right now. Bachelor number three. Oh! oh sorry. Was he cute? Now, well, here we go. Now I'm gonna show you who you missed out on. He's actually just a craft services guy. Our actual batch number three is in rehab. He had a billboard incident. Oh, well, that's too bad. Now, you guys are stuck on an island. Natalie needs one snack. What does she bring with her? Wheat thins. Wheat thins. The answer is nut thins. What's up, baby? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, she was <laughs> I the entire show. The host is <laughs> her. The host is <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was fun. I am very happy for the new ship with Natalie and Todd. I'm sure you guys are all wondering my opinion on that, so I, I figured I'd just come right out and say it. How the f did you do that to me, Todd? You're supposed to be my brother, and you f***ing stabbed me in the back like this? Thank you, Todd. I'm not real. I've been a figment of Todd's imagination for the past two years. I never existed. That whole time, I was kissing Todd. I was actually Todd. You mean the whole time? Fuck all you Japanese kids. That's right. You're standing badly. You're standing a fairy tale. Dude, Todd looks hot. All right, yeah, you're right. And that's the reason his girlfriend chose him over you. Okay. He tried for months, years. I'm gonna get a mullet too. Natalie's in love with you. you yeah, Natalie, Natalie and I, we, we, we had a little agreement that, you know, you know, all good things eventually come to an end. And then that's when we'll, we'll decide to settle down, mm. repopulate. Well, the title on this video just changed. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> but let her have her fun, you know? She's so awesome. Todd's She's... like a, just like a, a real piece of meat, you know? If this is a rom-com, you're the guy who works at the office with Natalie, who hasn't quite grown into his looks yet, and Todd's the guy with the leather jacket driving a f***ing dirt bike, and 
it's just it's not crazy. right for her. Yeah. Thane and Jeff both genuinely wanted to be with Natalie, <laughs> and then Todd really just swooped in. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm, honestly. <laughs> honestly. I feel like I need to roast a couple more members of the vlog squad. Natalie, you bitch. You've, Nat Natalie, you... Uh, fuck. I should do this another time. Well, I was the original ship with Natalie, and I took a step back because obviously I I see Todd is truly he's different this time around. This is not Todd and some random chick at Saddle Ranch with a nice set of cans. <laughs> Todd sees Natalie for what's on the inside. He loves her, and it's different. And I, I would like to take this moment to address the Stan accounts that are making edits. Like this one right here, <laughs> this one, it, it's not right, and I appreciate it, but I think it should stop. I'd appreciate it if you change the stand account names to Toddly. Toddly. Let's, let's do an improv skit right now. Okay, go. You have to tell Todd that you had sex with a girl that no one's he, gonna believe that that he <laughs> has a crush on, okay. and he's loved her for the longest time, and you've, you've backstabbed him. And you took his That's dream true. girl. Um, so we all know Todd has dated some of the hottest women around town, and he's really found his way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> and I plan to do exactly the same, starting at the bottom with you, Todd. And we'll <laughs> You got Natalie there too. She was a fucking badass. She couldn't quit because if she quit, we would quit. So we were all in it as a team. Yeah. Two down, 23 to go. I think I'm fucking tapped out. What do you think is going through my head right now? Like honestly, like no acts, no putting on the tough guy act. I think that you're probably like, I did it. It wasn't as bad as it probably like could have been. So maybe I can do it again, but I don't really want to. No, no, no. Get out of my head, Natalie. What <laughs> the cutest couple that never was. I'm gonna say Jeff and Natalie. Let me see <laughs> Jeff and Natalie! Ilya, let's get to the bottom of this stuff. Let's talk about the juicy stuff. How do you feel about Natalie and Todd dating? Um, I think Todd likes her. A lot. Okay, do you think that it is a possibility that he will get drunk and cheat on her once quarantine's up? I think a lot of people have been saying that, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think it'll be up to Natalie. It's like Todd and Natalie right now in the vlog squad, you know? Oh, okay. Everybody wants to know when they're going to break up, when Todd's going to cheat and slip whole, up and get drunk at Saddle Ranch. The whole conversation is, for is that, right? 